So today I decided I wanted to show you the stages of my new pepper plants um, and what you know just how I'm growing them because people have been asking I've been selling some on Etsy and uh, um, I gave away quite a bit before earlier I mean in last year so this is 2021 and I wanted to show you my new peppers these I saw these, let's see, let's, I saw these, um, I have about 18 of these at this size. And I saw these, and this is Scotch Bunny. I saw these on the 12th of December. And they were taking a little while um, to grow. As you, you know, if you don't know, peppers take a good while to grow. And you have to have them in, in some warm area. All right, so, you know, as you can see, these are ready to be transplanted into in another pot. Well, I grow them in, in pots, five gallon buckets and whatever else I can find. And from, you can see these, these have about, uh, I took off the first set of, set of um, uh, leaves. So about seven to eight set of leaves. You know, the growth of it each time, um, two or three leaves come on. And you can see them, some are taller than some. But all of these were, were the seeds were sown at the same time. And these, as I said, are all scotch bonnet. But I want to show you this one. This one here, I took it out of one of these other ones. It was doing it and I took it out um, last week and put it here. And look at the size of it. It's small because it was under the other plant and wasn't getting much light. But now it's on its own and it's, it's moving up. All right, and also I want to tell you a little bit more about these. Anyway, let's go back. Let's back up a little bit. Let's start from the beginning. I have been showing people how you can start your seeds quickly. Let me just open this bag. You can start your seeds quickly, much quicker. I mean, you can, peppers take a long time to grow. But I want to show you this. Let's see if we can go out in the sun if you can look closely you'll see that these start growing I wrap them in this paper towel fold it over and wet it and put it in a ziplock bag as you can see here's the ziplock bag what's this date I have it 2 2 2021 right these are 2 2 2021 today is the 10th so um, I guess they were growing before because some, some are not grown yet. Some didn't push out yet. Some are still um, not um, growing yet. But it would take about, say, 10, yeah, roughly, say, 10 days or less than that to grow when you wrap them in paper towel like this. For me, I don't do much of this because I can't see these things. These pepper seeds are small. For things like peas and beans, I use this method. But for peppers, they're so small, I hardly use it. But for most of you well-seeing people, you can use this and get a quicker, quicker growth. Right? So that, that is the seeds and that's what you can do to get much quicker growth on them. Alright, so look at these. This I put in here 128. That's January 28th in this container here. And you can see that they're growing. And also look at some of the sections. They don't have any. Because, you know, sometimes some pop out before some. So sometimes you have your peppers. And you're saying, oh, these are not good. And you just leave it for a couple more. Another week or two. And they, see, look at some of these just popping out. Some of them are just coming up. So that's what will happen when you plant your peppers. So I, I, I put them in this... Um, this is a six section part. I'll put a link to it um, when, I, um, when I'm finished. This is another one. Ignore that white stuff. It's um, that earth thing that I put on them. To I have them inside. So I put this earth, this powdery thing on them to prevent insects and all these little flies that go on plants inside. But look at these. These were planted. And did I? I don't see a date on this, but it's sometime in January, early January. And um, you can see that when, when they get to this stage, when they get to, to this stage, I move them out and put them in these cups. 
this is quite this has like a four set of leaves already some of them don't have it and, and look at that little one down there look at this little one on the hill where is it that one with the, the thing on the leaf this is some of the stuff i put on here and it's so small because it depends on how the light is hitting them i have them under grow light inside the house and depends on how the the light is hitting them they'll um they'll grow in different sizes all right so so i told you yeah i told you about these this is another set i just dropped them in here i just put, put some seeds in here and and there it is they're growing and i'm i'm i don't know i'm gonna run out of space before it gets warm if it was warm today is a little nice so i'll bring them outside but I don't generally put them outside. It's the first time I've ever brought these outside. And it's just to do this video. So now, why do I put them in this cup? In these cups? I use this Maxi Grow on my plants. Or I use the, um, the uh, hydropon um, general hydroponic, the liquid. There's the liquid. They're inside the, the little old greenhouse and, and I didn't take them out. But I've shown you on another videos how I use the liquid in um in my uh, to grow my plants. But this powder here, it's it's this what two point something pounds and it these are small now and it lasts a long time. So I don't worry myself. I just use this for now. And this is good and it helps them to grow. But look at the size. Do I put them in these cups? I wanna show you. Let's see if we can find one. I want to find one you can see little roots where is it <laughs> little roots right on this coming out it helps somehow when they are growing them hydroponically i'm not growing these hydroponically see the roots are coming out through the bottom see you can see see that root can you see where is it oh see that root and i have some with more roots let's see if i can find one with more roots Look at this one look at this one look at that root and more roots coming out all around just cut the bottom and then you put them in a cup that is bigger than the one that that is smaller the bottom at least should be smaller than the one that you're putting it into because you don't want it to set right down on the bottom you want it to have some water in there and um, the other cup is elevated and the roots will strain to go down and get to the water and so that's what this one is doing but these are the cups i use and i try as i said to find a cup that's a little bigger than the but i put the bigger one inside and put the smaller one underneath and i don't bore this hole i don't bore hole on the outer one i bore the hole on the inner one right and then you put it there so you can hold some water you don't want to plant uh, the bottom of the the other cup sitting in the water you want it sitting a little above you don't want it sitting in the water and once you know once these dry out like some of these you can see there's there's hardly anything left in there there's no liquid but this is wet and i put it in there and i'm gonna put a little liquid in there that is the the maxigo liquid or the general hydroponic um, mixture. I'm putting a little bit in there. I don't want them here because I have to take them back inside. So you just put a little in there and it will drain down. And, and um, sometimes you can water them from the top before the root start going down to the bottom because then the top will be dry. The plant in here I found a couple this morning up in the window. I keep this in the window during the daytime and sometimes at night I put a little light on them. Right, so they say plants need at least look at this. This one here is a gungu. <laughs> it's a gungu. <laughs> I have about four of these. Now see the root is coming down already. See the root? Yeah, this is gungu. Because I want to start early, I want to get some gungu. So I have a few other plants that I'm doing that. I have tomatoes. Look at this one here. This one is I broke a piece of plant last year, a piece of one of the pepper plants, and I put it in this pot in the, in the greenhouse. And in the, when it was getting cold, I put it inside. 
they were just little sticks just little sticks with maybe one or two leaves I know it's flourishing I have to keep picking off the blossoms off of here because I don't want it to start bearing it because it's still cold this is only February and it's still cold so I keep picking off whenever I see blossoms come up I pick them off and I keep looking at it for blossoms so I pick off all the blossoms because I don't want it to bear it's too small to bear anyway now I know that some of these are gonna start splitting and when I say splitting they separate the top separate and turn into two limbs then it turn into four and so on so I'll deal with that when that happens and I, you know I saw a guy on YouTube here where he's um he's um growing peppers till they fully grown and ripen in these cups solo cups so this is the guy that's growing peppers in the solo cups he has a um, page on YouTube and this is one of his videos. I just copied it and um, his page is called Brandon White Pepper. Now look at those peppers that he grew. Brandon White Pepper. Go take a look at his page. All these here, plus I cannot tell you, I have about maybe 80 plants right now. Maybe 80. Um, but but um, I have about 18 of this. But uh, between these small plants here in different little pots upstairs, I have a lot. I said I was going to sell some plants, but I have no idea how to ship plants safely. So I don't know if I'm going to do that. I just know that this year I'm going to plant a lot of peppers. I have a scotch bonnet mostly. I'm going to see if I can get um, sale for peppers. <laughs> I don't know. Never did that before. I used to just plant my, my peppers for fun. And somebody suggested to me, two people suggested, why don't you put them on Etsy? So now I'm selling pepper seeds on Etsy. I have um, four different kinds. I have the black mamba. Uh, these are the black mamba. They're really gritty and gnarly looking and hot like you know what. So it, I don't know. It's just hot, not flavorful. A uh, ghost, a uh, red ghost. Uh, these are the ghost. They're really pretty. Change to several colors until they get very red. It's the first one that beer last year. Um, chocolate. They, these are chocolate. Jamaican chocolate. These are Jamaican chocolate peppers. I got them in Jamaica years ago, since 2014, for my sister. They're very nice. I love them to cook with. Uh, you know, um, people are calling them Scotch bonnet, but they are not Scotch bonnet. As I tell you, Scotch bonnet look like that one. Anyway, they're very good, very nice cook eating. Some people are calling pepper Scotch bonnet, and they are not. As long as the pepper yellow, some people call it Scotch bonnet. They're not Scotch bonnet. Scotch bonnet look like a tam. You know, tam you used to wear back in Jamaica or anywhere. Um, this is what Scotch bonnet peppers should look like. Kind of a little plump top where the stem is. And it's wide and then underneath it's either flat or just have a little part sticking out it should look like that not like some other things that people are showing you but i know yellow scotch bonnet now they have red scotch bonnet and all kind of purple scotch bonnet most of those i think i don't know for sure but i think those are mixed those are mixed with other things anyway if I find a true red scotch bonnet or purple scotch bonnet, I'm going to get them. Um, so yeah, so, so that, that's what that is for now. I'll keep following up with these, uh, with how the peppers are growing and so on. And let you know what, how they're growing and what they're doing. If you need pepper seeds, I'm going to put a link to my Etsy channel below. And you can go get um, your scotch bonnet and uh, other pepper seeds. Um, for me, I have about four different pepper seeds, but this cash bonnet is selling like hot cakes. Um, so that, that's that for now. If you have questions about growing your peppers, anything else you want to know, post below and I'll answer your questions promptly. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and ask any questions. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.